thank you so much for introduction, Shimon. So let's start. Uh, uh, the Alado company uh, has a three main divisions. The first one deals with lightning, uh, the second one deals with identification, and the last one deals with safety. The combination of these three divisions uh, formed the system for localization, safety monitoring, and lights control, uh, which names is Alice. So uh, this presentation is organized as follows. From main purpose, uh, through Alice structure, through specifications, to conclusions, future works, and contacts. Uh, the main purpose of uh, the Alice. The Alice system uh, is uh, composed from three main parts. The first part deals with light control and intelligent light control. Uh, when at least one employee uh, is located in the room, then lights are activated. Uh, when nobody uh, is located in the room, then lights are deactivated. Uh, the second part of the LS system is employee's localization. Uh, and the last part deals with uh, uh, detection of hazardous environment conditions, such as temperature, gases, etc., uh, for employees. Uh, and detection of employees' injury, uh, such as high impacts, employees' horizontal position, and uh, motion lasts for a long time. Uh, okay, let's move to st Alice structure. Uh, the main part of the structure is the server, uh, which uh, collaborates with interactive uh, graphic user interface, uh, localization module, and alerts module. Uh, the server communicates uh, uh, with uh, a couple of gateways uh, through TCP IP protocol, uh, where each gateway uh, defines one segment in the Alice system. The one segment means uh, one room on the one place on the open space. Uh, uh, the gateway, uh, 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 the each segment uh, contains a couple of readers. Each reader uh, is part of light. Uh, the, the reader uh, measures RSSI uh, signal level uh, through locators, which are in the specific segment. Okay, uh, each locator is built in uh, on the helm of each employee. Uh, let's move to server description. Okay, uh, how I said, uh, uh, it's a base on the TCP/IP protocol. Uh, the server was designed for many clients. So it's a gateway. Uh, the server distributes the data to the localization, interactive graf graphic user interface, and alert module. Uh, the server solves uh, some logging of statistics, uh, which are uh, saved in the SQL database. Uh, localization uh, is based on RSSI values, uh, where the location estimation is focused to uh, room precision. Uh, the targeting precision is in meters. So the interactive graphic user interface, uh, uh, the, there is shown on the picture, uh, uh, visualize events in the frame of buildings, stage, and rooms. The, C the events can be locators position, light states, device states, uh, if are uh, offline or online, uh, hazard and injury alerts. Uh, by this uh, graph uh, user interface can be search, uh, search specific locator, uh, can be uh, controlled lights, uh, and you can show on the some statistics Okay, alerts uh, for detected hazard or injury. Uh, this can be performed by uh, interactive graphic user interface or a buzzer. Uh, the buzzer is built in in the locator uh, or through emails, text messages, audio alert, or uh, it's a, it's a, a new in the system. It's a light uh, lights alert where the lights blinking around injured employee. Uh, the gateway, the gateway defines segments, room, or part of the open space. Uh, it's a uh, it's a interface between IQR, FTR module and uh, Ethernet. Uh, each gateway has own I, uh, ID 
uh, which is uh, IP address. Uh, the reader, uh, it's a part of light, but uh, it can be used separately. Uh, the reader contains uh, IQRF module, uh, or each reader has own ID. Uh, the reader source localization and lights control, where uh, the lights control is only on off yet. Uh, uh, we, are, we are solving the timing. Uh, the locator, it's, of, uh, it's a part of employee equipment, uh, such as helm, jacket, or the other part. Uh, uh, there is, uh, uh, is built-in uh, IQRF module too. Uh, each uh, locator has a specific ID. The locator contains a couple of sensors. For example, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, temperature, uh, te temperature sensor, and gas sensor. Uh, uh, the next part of the uh, locator is buzzer, uh, which uh, can uh, notify uh, for nearby humans when some employee is injured. Uh, the locator contains battery charger. Okay, let's move to some specification. Uh, the maximum gateway count is 65,000. The maximum reader's count uh, is uh, uh, 256. Uh, for one segment, uh, but uh, we are recommend uh, we uh, we are recommend uh, the use the 16 for one segment uh, during the latency of the whole system. Uh, the maximum locators count is uh, actually is uh, uh, 256 uh, locators, but uh, we preparing the system uh, which uh, uh, can uh, perform uh, to use uh, 65,000. Uh, the accuracy and the minimum distance between readers, it's a very, very important for the installation, for the cost of the installation. Uh, uh, it depends on the rig wide targeting precision and reader uh, installation height. Uh, for example, the, when the installation height is uh, 10 uh, meters, uh, then uh, the distance between readers is uh, 8 meters, uh, then accuracy is around 5 meters. Uh, the refresh, refresh frequency is uh, in the frame of a uh, couple seconds. Uh, we are using all IQRF channels for this purpose. Uh, locator battery life, uh, it's uh, for one week, but uh, locator is rechargeable. Uh, there, there are possibility to some extensions of the system. Uh, there can be connected uh, the other uh, IQRF uh, technology. Uh, and uh, the very important uh, point uh, of the specifications, uh, the um, this system creates IQRF zone in the whole space inside of buildings because uh, the reader is in the each, each light in the building. So uh, let's move to conclusions. Uh, in the safety, we solved the detection uh, of hazardous environment conditions. Uh, we are solved. Uh, we solved the detection of injuries and help calling uh, by alerts. Uh, uh, we solved the localization estimation precision in meters. Uh, we solved light controls by uh, user graphic interface uh, or uh, intelligent light control by locator activation deactivation of the lights. Okay. Uh, let's move to fu future works. In the frame of safety, uh, we want to add uh, much more sensors, which is a built-in locator. Uh, uh, in the frame of localization, we uh, want to improve uh, estimation algorithm uh, and increase locator battery life because it's uh, important. One one week, it's not it's not much. Uh, and the second part, lights control, we are solving timing, actually. So there are some context for us. Uh, so thank you for attention.